Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 28th video in VCP8 data center virtualization 2023 and in this video we are going to see how to create and manage virtual machine snapshot in VMware infrastructure and how you can take the snapshot, how you can delete the snapshot, manage and everything. So the question is, uh, first question is what is snapshot? So uh, you can understand snapshot is the state of the system. Okay, so let's say if you have taken a snapshot as 10 p.m. or something, then if you want to go back to the same state of the virtual machine, um, which uh, which when the snapshot is taken, you can go there. So snapshot is a basically state of the uh, virtual machine uh, for point of time. So we'll we'll discuss this in more detail. So you can create multiple snapshot for the virtual machine. Uh, as per your requirement so let's say if you are doing any activity let's say if you are doing upgrade for any operating system or if you are doing upgrade for any software or if you are making any critical change on the machine then you can take the snapshot let's say after making change or upgrading application the system has crashed or uh, the application is not working properly then you have a snapshot you can go back to the working state of the virtual machine of the server where the everything you can go back and restore your system in the proper working state so there are a lot of scenarios where you can use the snapshot to save your life in the production environment so we'll see in detail how we can do that so basically uh, best practice for using snapshot in vmware vSphere uh, environment so <clears throat> The first and most important do not use snapshot as a backup so snapshot is a not a backup solution so if you are thinking uh, uh, snapshot can be used as a backup it's not so snapshot is a only uh, uh, you can say state of the system on the particular time so it cannot be used as a um, backup so maximum snapshot is 32 are supported in chain however it will be uh, if you take more snapshot the performance of the server virtual machine is going to be degraded because it will it will have a multiple uh, child disk and it has to write on all the child disk. so so it is always recommended to have uh, have as much as less snapshot you want you can and again if if you are if you are running a heavy system like uh, database servers you know so make sure you don't have uh, uh, more than one snapshot to uh, you know avoid uh, like a, a, a performance issue issue and other issues in the machines so also do not use a single snapshot for more than 72 hours so if you have a snapshot which is taken 72 hours before as per vmware it's not recommended to use snapshot for more than 72 hours so if you have snapshot make sure if you are done with the activity and if the snapshot you have tested or everything and there was uh, no use of snapshot after a certain time or certain hour you go ahead and delete the snapshot and if you wish you can take a sna uh, fresh snapshot but let's not have a snapshot for more than 72 hours and when using a third party backup software ensure the snapshot are deleted after successful backup so if you are using any backup tool between uh, veeam or comvault or uh, any tool um, veritas any backup tool then the uh, how the backups run for the virtual machine takes the snapshot of the virtual machine it's run the backup and once the backup is finished it deletes the snapshot so if you are running third party applications uh, for backup make sure the after successful after the backup the uh, uh, the backups are automatically getting deleted from the uh, infrastructure and increasing the disk size when snapshot are, are uh, still uh, are the available still available can corrupt the snapshot and result in data loss so if the uh, you have a, a snapshot of the virtual machine do not do any uh, perform any activity related to disk resizing disk uh, and other things um, because it can corrupt your complete snapshot and the uh, data uh, and the data uh, data for the virtual machine itself so we'll see how, how we can take the snapshot and also uh, this is my environment so I'll show you <coughs> 
me log in. So we got our vCenter server, we got three ESXi hosts, uh, four ESXi hosts and top of that I have one virtual machine. Here win 2 k 19 vm 01 if you can see here. So this is my virtual machine and if you go here you will see snapshot. So currently you can see there was no snapshot so if you want to take a snapshot you can go ahead and take snapshot uh, let's say this is include virtual machine memory so it will have the running virtual machine otherwise you can uh, take the requires vmware tool also so <coughs> this is going to be a some kind of crash consistent backup and all so based on your requirement you can select if you want to have a like crash consistent backup or include virtual me memory whatever you want you can do that so let's say if I'm going to include virtual machine memory and going to do uh, first uh, snapshot and then run this snapshot. So it will take few seconds only to take the snapshot. You can see here the snapshot is running now. So it will take some time and uh, once the snapshot is completed, you will see the snapshot here. Uh, it's going to be available soon. So now you can see the snapshot is created and if I go now on snapshot so if I click here you will see first first snapshot is created and you are here means uh, we have a we are running on first snapshot now if I go and log into this machine just to show you uh, let's say let's log into machine and do something here so I'm going to uh, create one text file uh, on the desktop and I'm going to call it first snapshot okay so this is I'm at first snapshot so now if I go here and uh, let's take a uh, this is running let's say we'll take the snap second snapshot so if I'm typing here second snapshot okay and I'm going to take the one snapshot here so it will let's call it second snapshot okay and go ahead and create so now on the second when we we are taking the second snapshot we have a one uh, file here on the desktop which a txt file with the name of second snapshot and when we created uh, took this first snapshot there was no file on desktop so just wanted to show you like how, how it's work multiple snapshot how you can go and revert the snapshots how you uh, revert to old snapshot how you can uh, basically um, delete all snapshot or delete one snapshot so why this is taking time so whenever you are going to take a snapshot with the memory it's always going to take some time so if you see here snapshot the virtual machine memory is marked as yes so it, it has taken the snapshot of complete virtual machine memory which takes some more time because uh, it's going to take a snapshot of all your virtual machine memory and all and now if you want to see uh, go to data store under data store you will go to folder of the virtual machine you will see their multiple disk and snapshot files since we we have now so if you see here you will see snapshot file so this is snapshot one okay this is again a memory uh, memory for virtual machine so you will see here our first snapshot this is the second snapshot which we are running so these are the snapshot files you can see and again you can disk also you can see multiple disks so if I show you here so these are the snapshot uh, disk which we have taken so this is primary machine uh, single disk without any snapshot this is first snapshot and this is second snapshot so every snapshot is going to create a child disk and then we will have a snapshot memory file and um, 
and main snapshot configuration file and everything so these are the snapshot uh, few files which is required uh, to uh, <coughs> required for snapshot so snapshot file snapshot memory file and the uh, child disk file for uh, each of the snapshot so now uh, if i go back here on the snapshot snapshot is still running so you will not see here uh, once this is finished you will see here second snapshot so it's almost done now if you see here we are running on sna second snapshot and we have this file on desktop now what i'm going to do i'm going to revert the snapshot i'm i want machine to go on first snapshot status so what you can do you just select whatever snapshot you want to go and click on revert so this this is telling uh, revert to selected snapshot the current virtual machine state will be lost until you save the snapshot so if you want to save snapshot you can go ahead and save the snapshot uh, take a new snapshot otherwise you can go and <coughs> revert your machine at the first snapshot so yes i want so click on revert now you will see here revert snapshot is running now you can see we went to the first snapshot now if i go on refresh this so let's log into this machine So here we validated we are on first snapshot now and you will see here it's going to take some time and we don't have a text file which we have created during our second snapshot uh, before second snapshot so this is good so we got to know okay our virtual machine has reverted to first snapshot so same similar way you can take multiple and number of snapshot as per your requirement and you can go to any uh, old snapshot as per your requirement and now what you do when we delete a snapshot so currently if i show you if i go here on the folder structure the data store for this particular virtual machine you will see here we got <coughs> two snapshots and all so now i'm going to delete one snapshot and we'll validate what is going to be changed here so it will delete the snapshot file and virtual machine file for this so delete so this is going to ask uh, are you sure you want to delete snapshot uh, second snapshot yes so you can see the snapshot is removed now now if i go here and verify same thing again you will see a uh, snapshot a uh, second snapshot related files are going to be deleted so you will see here now it does not have two snapshot files so there was only one snapshot file and there was one virtual disk for this uh, second snap first snapshot so we can go and delete others also so i'm going to delete now uh, rest snapshot so delete all so if you have a multiple snapshot and you want to delete all together you can go and use this method delete all snapshot so it will delete all the snapshot and it will it will uh, and do the changes in the disk also <clears throat> so let's wait for uh, remove all snapshot task to be to finish and now it's almost done 70 percent now it's done we can see there was no snapshot yeah so no snapshot available so means we have deleted all the snapshot now if you want to go and verify once again you can go and check So now we don't have any snapshot file here there is only one disk file vmdk file at now attached to this virtual machine so this is good we have cleaned all the uh, required disk uh, uh, related to uh, snapshot files and everything so this is basically how you can take snapshot how you can revert how you can delete the snapshot so 
I always recommend to take snapshot if you are doing any critical activities with the virtual machine. So in case if there is any failure, post your activity or upgrade or anything like that. So you you have a, um, <coughs> a basically healthy system state where you can go at point of time to recover your funds server, uh, <coughs> which can be you know lifesaver for production environment and all. So <clears throat> this is all about it. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.